Just two months into his career at Elland Road, Manchester United and Roy Keane paid a visit. A clash with the Irishman defined Haaland's career. It was a sort of hostile atmosphere, and I think we were leading. But he just tried to tackle me, and uh, I got the, the free kick, and, uh, uh, and he was sort of lying on the ground, and I just told him to get up, as he normally do with, with the players, you know, which is nothing more than that. I'm not trying to intend anything uh, against him, so, uh, but obviously he took that very hard. Be really angry straight afterwards, but not like for months <laughs> or years in this case. It was almost four years later when Holland played for Manchester City that that anger boiled over at Old Trafford. For eight years, I wasn't injured. Uh, coincidence or not, that was my last 90 minutes in England. So, is that a coincidence or isn't it? If, if, if you're in the ground and someone hits you in the right leg, you know, you can still twist your other leg and it can get injured. And that's probably what's, what's happened. So, I haven't played a full uh, 90 minutes after after that incident and that's uh, that's the hard fact and people can judge whatever they want obviously afterwards uh, i found out and uh, he's already stated that in his book as well that it was uh, with intent and uh, he was seeking revenge and, uh, and all those things and I, I think that's that's a bit sad uh, you know sad for football and yeah it was not good for me either at the time Holland managed just five more appearances after that fateful afternoon before quitting football and returning to Norway. He reinvented himself as a business development manager and now works for the oil industry in Stavanger. Well, Norway used to be a quite uh, a poor country before then, and then they found oil, and, and Stavanger has, has been the, the oil capital after. Our boss uh, is a very keen supporters of, uh, of our local team, Bruno, and uh, sort of all the, all the cranes and stuff. He, he gives them a name that, uh, you know, uh, the, place, the, the place he thought has done a, uh, an, an extra good job for his local team. I got my name there and, uh, yeah, it's quite funny. Now, 16 years on from his run-in with Keane, he's hopeful the family name will live on in football. His teenage son, Erling Braut Holland, is starting his career in Mulder under the stewardship of one of his dad's former international teammates. He's a fantastic prospect. He's got a great personality, great mentality, which is a bit, call it, un norwegian like because uh, in Norway, the kids nowadays, they, it's so easy and it's the best place in the world to live in. There's, no, there's not a lot of uh, demands on them. But that kid, he's got a proper English mentality. The first cup round he played, he started and he scored a first goal. So he'll, he'll be a top player. He'll, uh, uh, if I get him to Man United instead of in Leeds and City like his dad played for. There's a lot of similarities between the British and Norwegian people, I think. So it's, it's easier. It would be nice for, for him to go over there. You know, I've just got good, positive memories. My career ended maybe early, but I'm trying to look um, back on the, on the good, good years instead of the, the last two years. Everybody's got to finish sometime. I finished a bit early, but uh, I still had some, some great years.